Hey guys, Poor Sixty Style here. Um, today we're going to talking about what's the deadliest bullet on the planet. Um, maybe not so much on the planet. Let's just start in the United States. Um, a lot of controversy. Fifty BMG, twelve gauge, uh, some rifles, some handguns, some everything. So I'm just going to do a broad explanation of this. Um, it's what I think. Uh, don't take my word for it. I'm not a professional. I just do this for a little hobby. And let's just start with the most common deadliest bullet on the planet. The most common. Uh, very cheap uh, to buy. You can buy it by the hundreds. You can buy them by the thousands. Um, this is where we're going to start. We're going to start by... Uh, 22 long rifle. Haha. <laughs> I tricked you guys. So, this little sucker right here in my previous videos, like I said, uh, you can put a two and a half inch nail in about three inches of two by four. So, or concrete or whatever you put it on, and basically OSHA approved. Basically, not OSHA approved, but. Um, code wise as far as nailing a piece of wood to like a slab or a wall this is what gets the job done right here or anchor bolts different topic but technically ram set uses a 22 short so yeah that's pretty deadly <laughs> just let you guys know so let's go up a little notch um, I don't have a projectile for this one so we started with a 22. Okay. Uh, it's brother, the bigger brother, the 22 Magnum. We all know that. A little, little bit longer, as you see. So, you can start hunting moose with a 22 Magnum by law in Maine. Uh, I don't agree with that. <laughs> it should be like 45 Colt at least. Uh, my opinion. Um, that's what they should be using. Just for the, you know what I mean, for energy, um, not speed, but mass-wise, energy going down range. Uh, I don't know where main game warden or politicians think a 22 Magnum is viable cartridge for moose in Maine. Um, but that's where it starts. So anyway, so, so that's 22 Magnum. So we'll go up a notch and then we'll start with a, I don't have a projectile for, for this one, which I mentioned earlier. This is a 32, little 32, um, auto, um, not a lot going on here. Um, a lot of people don't carry that round or a 25. This is a 32, a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger than a 25, but, um, I'll show you a 380. Here's a 380, okay, versus a, a 32. Now, a 380 is a 9 short. And last I knew, a 380 um, has killed a lot of cops out on the street. <laughs> so, if somebody says a 380 is not deadly, uh, they're full of it because... Look at the report, national report in the United States saying a lot of police officers have been wounded terribly or been killed with a 380. Okay, it's just a 9 short. It's just a hair shorter than a 9. I can get projectiles up to 1,300 feet a second. Last I knew, that's faster than a 45 Colt. <laughs> Last I knew, that's 45 faster than a 45 ACP. Last I knew, that's faster than, than a 38 Special. Last I knew, that's equivalent to a 357 speeds, or a hot 9 millimeter. So, uh, 380 is not a joke. A lot of people carry this. Um, just because it's in a smaller gun, doesn't mean it's not the most deadliest bullet in the world. Uh, 380 is a little, it's a little Chihuahua that can really bite you. So, not a joke. So, so we'll go. So we'll go to its brother, one of the most common, the nine millimeter. So nine millimeter, again, 
I'll just show you the, the comparisons while, while going up in caliber. Uh, I don't have all the calibers here. I just have some that I have and some that I picked up at the gun range. So 9mm, just a hair longer. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for the, the case a little longer. Same diameter. Um, again, you can get rounds up to 1600 feet a second in, the, in this caliber. So cops carry this for a reason. Uh, you can put 20 rounds or whatever X amount of rounds in their full size SIGs or their Glocks or whatever Smiths or whatever brand they carry. So 9mm, again, we're jumping up here just a little bit. Um, but I carry a 9 uh, for a reason. But I do have a, my 1911 right here, my little baby rock. Uh, which I might carry because, you know, it's <laughs> 380 is very nice and it's a smaller gun. It's narrower and it's lighter. So anyway, that's little info which I'm not talking about here. So from a 9, we're going to go from a 9 to a 45. Okay, here we go. Here We're going to go from a 9 to a 45 right here. Yes, bigger in diameter, big ball round, uh, 1911 no, from, from ever since it came out. Um, excuse me, I just dropped it. But anyway, um, I have another one. Hold on. Yeah, I have another one. So, a 45 round, you know, again, 800 feet a second, 1,000 feet a second, 1,100 feet a second. You can buy rounds for this. Under 200, 200, 180 grain bullets, 200 grain bullets. They go, you know, whatever, 11, 1,200 feet a second, which, um, civil, liberty, civil defense, I believe. 1,900 feet a second. 1900 feet a second why buy anything bigger um and, and again liberty civil defense they got nine millimeter going 1600 feet a second they got these ball rounds going 1900 feet a second i mean that's hollow points though why why wouldn't you carry that i mean that's really really impressive so anyway um uh, the other one that came out a little while ago. I don't think it's as as popular anymore. Um, again, one of the most deadliest bullets in the world is a 45 ACP. Okay, one of the most deadly bullets in the world, nine millimeter. What I've showed you so far, it's a bullet. It's deadly. All right. So anyway, but they they've had a. 45 gap, I don't have a projectile because I found this at the gun range. It's a 45 gap. It's a shortened self-defense round 45 ECP. I don't know if you guys ever heard one of that. It's a 45 gap. It's just a shortened ACP. See that? So, less velocity for home defense so it doesn't go through the walls and stuff. Pretty cool little round though. I think I, think I might buy some of that and try it out. That's pretty cool. So anyway, that's that. Um, let's go to revolver side of things. Um, somewhat revolver, nine millimeter revolver now and stuff, but just the, like the traditional revolver cartridges, one of the most common on the planet, 38 special. Uh, this is a bullet round, uh, 38 special. Um, uh, this is the bronze bullet, I think. Yeah, bronze. Blazer, sorry, blazer. Uh, 800, 850 feet a second. Okay. How many cops had this back in the day? Okay. Uh, one of the most deadly bullets on the planet. 38 special. 38 special. Okay. Then, bump it up. 357 Magnum. Obviously, it's a little longer. Now you got speeds 15, 16, 1800 feet a second if you reload this. But again, you got two cartridges and one gun. One a little milder, but how many cops defend them themselves with a 38 special from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and bumped up to 357 after? And a revolver. So technically, 38 special is one of the most deadly bullets on the planet. 357 is also for self protection. So just. Another little FYI there. And then in the 70s, uh, something came out called Dirty Harry. Um, let, let me just keep my 357 here. Um, I, I'm going to try to keep this short, this video. Um, then came out <laughs> this little sucker, 44 Magnum. Look at that. 
Holy cow. One of the most deadliest bullets on the planet. For protection, hunting, in the lever action. Again, all these in the lever action. Most of them, anyway. Uh, or carbine, AR style, and a 9mm 45. We all t the, the Tommy gun. You know, the Tommy gun back in the day were pretty cool. So, anyway, just think about that. 45 ACP, one of the most deadliest bullets in the world at one point. It still is. Uh, wartime. Uh, Bonnie and Clyde back in the day in, in the 30s. Uh, now you have 44 Magnum. Hunting round, self defense round. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. One of the most deadliest bullets on the planet, right here. So, anyway, they even made a 41 Magnum Remington Mag. 45 and 41. So, they wanted to test to see if, you know, something not as strong as a 44 Magnum. But a 41 Magnum. So, and 44 Special, I can't leave that out. You, know, you, you can't, 44 Special is just a hair smaller, like a 357 Magnum. The 38 Special, 44 Magnum is like a 44 Special. You know, the difference in, you know, less, uh, less smaller case. Uh, shorter, you know, less powder, less velocities, less power, whatever. Uh, we all know that. But anyway, 41 Magnum, pretty cool, but not as popular as a 44. So anyway, one of the most deadly bullets in the world, right here. Okay, right here. So what I showed you all so far, all so far, 44 Magnum and a 22. This is a deadly little sucker right here. 22, 22 long rifle. I wouldn't want to get shot by this. I don't want any bullets shooting at me. Never mind a 44 Magnum. I, I don't want that next to me. I don't want that shooting towards me. Again. 22, one of the most deadly projectiles on the planet. You can kill a rabbit, you can kill... Don't want to shoot people, but I'm just saying. This is very deadly. So anyway, we'll keep it going here. So I'll keep the 44 in my hand. And we'll jump it up to, well, 45 Colt. I'm not jumping up, but I just want to compare it. 45 Colt, again, roughly the same velocities as a uh, 45 ACP. Um... But you can load these up as almost as strong as a 44 Magnum. Um, 454 Casul, uh, basically like a 45 Colt, a hair longer. I don't have a projectile, I, I got casings. But uh, again, 1500 feet a second, 1700 feet a second, 454 Casul. Again, it kind of trumps this a little bit. Um, but you can still get the speeds with the right power, right projectile, get the same speeds as a 454 Casul because 44 Magnum is not a joke around. Neither is a 45 Colt. Um, neither is a 22. <laughs> so anyway, so, so so we'll go up a little bit. We'll go up to, uh, again, my favorite caliber, uh, my 460. This is a 44 Magnum. This is a 460. Uh, up to 65,000 PSI out of these. Um, uh, again, designed for hunting. Um, now we're getting to the... The magnum magnum size power here. Uh, this is not a this is a serious weapon now. Um, hunting primarily, uh, self protection. They're kind of heavy, bulky, um, but uh, you shoot one round at one of the, at, at a human. Uh, man, ew. I don't want to be around to either for either one of these. I I, I don't want to be around <laughs> or be shot at. So anyway, so four sixty. Get rid of the 44 mag and 4570. Who doesn't like a 4570? Uh, they got these in the BFR uh, handguns. Uh, no uh, lever action, break open, my you know, handy rifle, whatever. Again, a lot of energy. Not as fast as a 460, but a lot of energy. Because uh, it's a heavier diameter bullet. But anyway, really, really, now you're talking about stuff where... Uh, hunting and you're beyond self-defense stuff. Now you're talking about self-defense against animals, big animals, like the world's biggest animals. Uh, elephant's been taken down with this. Elephant's been taken down with that. 460 and a 4570 with the right projectiles, obviously, and the right powder and the right mixture. Uh, not funny stuff. So anyway, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, let's keep the 4570. Uh, bye, 460. So anyway, so now. Let's talk about let's talk about slugs, 12 gauge, 
because everybody knows a 12 gauge slug pretty impressive <laughs> law enforcement use it military still uses a 12 gauge uh hunters around the world self-defense are home uh, they buy the short, short little bullets. Uh, you got a one and a quarter ounce slug. Is that one quarter ounce? One and a quarter ounce slug going 1,600 feet a second. Um, I know there's three and a half inch mags out there, but 1,600 feet a second, a quarter ounce slug. Um, yeah, 4570, yeah, very powerful, but uh 100 yards i don't know man 50 feet wow 12 gauge slug Whew. damn that's got some power um that's not a joke i mean now you're talking about real stuff that's pretty freaking deadly <laughs> so so let's get rid of that um i forgot to mention peewee over here forgot to mention peewee pdx 410 uh pdx 410 again not a joke um Velocities are 750 feet a second, and still, I do not want to get hammered by that. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I don't. So pretty interesting. This is a pretty interesting round. PDX comes in 12 gauge and 20 gauge. I don't think they have it in 16 gauge yet, because 16 gauge is not in big of a demand anymore. Um, old guys like me like 16 gauge because it's a perfect bird gun. So anyway, my opinion. I'm not a professional. But boy, man, whew, imagine that coming on you if you're a bad boy. Wow. Why would you be a felon <laughs> when you know when the good side of the law has these <laughs> coming at you? So, guys, be good. Wow. So, anyway, uh, I'll just show you some bird shot. This is bird shot load. Again, close range. I wouldn't want to be there. Sorry. Uh, pretty deadly. So, that's that. Uh, let's talk about some rifles. Um, I got a couple rifle bullets. You know that I don't have that much rifle bullets. So let's start with again, 22 Magnum rifle bullet, handgun rifle, uh, at the lower end of the echelon. But again, Maine allows moose to be harvested with a 22 Magnum. I don't know why, but that's a law. That's very odd. So anyway, now we'll go up, <coughs> excuse me guys, now we'll go up a little bit. Bigger case, same diameter bullet, 223. AR platform, rifle, uh, get rid of the 22 mag. Now you're talking about some velocities here. Now you're talking about over 3,000 feet a second. This bullet is, uh, I think PMC is 33, 32 or 3,300 feet a second. Now velocity matters in this size diameter in 22. So... Again, law enforcement, rabbit, deer. Yeah, deer's good, but, uh, you know, you want... For deer, you want something with a little more mass behind it. 120 grains, 130, 50. Um, you know, a 55 grain bullet is nice and all for protection. Because um, anything over 2,200 feet a second, uh, the cavity wound changes. Anything below that, the cavity wound is not as... When this hits something, like flesh, it destroys around the bullet. Uh, under 2,200 feet a second, by FBI standards, it doesn't destroy stuff around it because the, the, the velocity, the energy, uh, the terminal velocity around it, when it, when it penetrates, it, uh, it destroys tissue around the projectile. Not because it's hollow point, it's just because of the speed that's going in. Because, you know, it's... it's, it's because it's a wedge. A bullet's like a wedge. So whatever is going through it, it's creating that mass, that energy, pushing it along its side. So it, it, it matters. It, that's how bullets work. So anyway, so that's that. Uh, 7.62 by 39. Very common caliber. Uh, very common. I don't have one. Again, I pick some. This is when I go to the range and I look in, in the uh, the boxes that the uh, these are un, these are mis misstrike bullets um and people just throw them away so i keep him and so i can do videos like this so 739 by what so 762 by 39 right here so just compare it i know guys i don't have good lighting but anyway roughly you can see kind of a difference here so pretty cool pretty cool all around very popular um nice so again 
<laughs> very deadly rounds. Very popular. Um, again, I wouldn't want to get shot by any one of these. So, so, so we'll move up just a little bit. Uh, let's go from here. And we'll go to my Mauser, 7mm Mauser that I used to have. There, now we're talking about something with a little more energy, uh, a little more powder. Um, small projectile, less grain bullet here. I think this is a 145 grain, 140. 7 mm Mauser. This is about 20, I think 2600 feet a second. 25, 2600 feet a second. Uh, it's like a 308. Hair weaker than a 308. Um, but again, no, it's a rifle bullet. Uh, if they use this in the war, very effective. Uh, let's get rid of the 762. Uh, then, you know, then we use the 303 British. It's a rim cartridge. Uh, again, it's like a 308. About speeds, 26, 2700 feet a second, 25, depends on the projectile, obviously, the weight, the grains. Here's a 303 British. Again, military rounds, type rounds, and we know what military does. It's designed to protect and take care of people, basically. So, um, so, so we'll keep my 303, and then we'll jump up to a 270. 270, again. We all know what a two, 270 is. Uh, very effective cartridge. Get rid of the 303 here. And you got a 30 odd 6. You know. Again, a 30 odd 6. Um, World War One, the 80 Stone, the 1917 Enfield. Uh, took over the 303 British round. And we know the whole story about that. Uh, tons of information online. It's a, it's a, it's a great story. Um, so anyway, let's get rid of 270, 303 British, uh, 270, 30 odd six, wow. Talk about one of the most popular rounds on the planet, is a 30 odd six. Really cool. Great round, uh, my, my, my nephew has one, my brother has a 270, my nephew has a 30 odd six. Um, and as you guys know, I got my 7mm mag, everybody knows that on these videos. Because I haven't bought another rifle. Except for my 303 that I bought. A um, little bigger. More powder. Smaller diameter means flatter shooting. That, that's what 7mm mag. Uh, they're, shooting these, they're, they're shooting these at 6x6 six six targets. About 3,000 yards. Uh, 2,800 yards on YouTube. It's, it's freaking amazing. Uh, which you can do that with any gun. Basically. But since this, this is uh, you know over 3,000 feet a second. Flat shooting. Um, you can get very small grains and very stable nozzle bullets, uh, brand bullets. Um, anyway, so guys, what's the most deadliest bullet in the world? Um, anything that can kill something. <laughs> uh, bullets are bullets. Uh, you guys, uh, I know everybody likes to compare, but from 12 gauge slug, 12 gauge slug, sorry guys, 12 gauge slug to a 22. Um, it doesn't matter, <laughs> guys. It doesn't matter. So I wish they would stop the argument of what's more deadly, uh, 223 or uh, AK round. Or, you know, a 30 odd 6 or a 460 round. It doesn't matter. It's, it's a projectile coming at very high speed. You can't see it. <laughs> you can't you barely see an, an arrow. Um, I don't have an arrow here. I don't, I don't shoot bow and arrow. So that's another one. And a crossbow. That's another one. Um, you know, so anything. This is a rare one. I, I don't see this one too often. I forgot to show you guys. 762. So I don't, uh, this is another uh, little, I think it's a foreign round. I don't remember. Might be by 32 or something. Uh, doesn't say. It's a PPU, by the way. So anyway, there's another little, it's not a 357 SIG. It's a, it's a metric round. So anyway, if you guys know that, just chime in. I don't, I, I don't know all my calibers. I know some. But guys, um, lipstick or not. Pretty bullet. Oh, that's pretty. It looks like lipstick. Perfect. But guys, I mean, they're all 
they're all designed for one thing is to put your target down from a 22 to 7 mm mag 12 gauge slug they're all made to protect they're all made to uh defend yourself protect your home defend our country um this is only the little examples that i got from whatever and what i shoot and what i carry and what i hunt with but they're all deadly so what's the most deadly bullet in the world they all are <laughs> They all are, and that's the whole thing about this whole uh, video, is that they all are, and I wish just more people will just be more safe and read up, uh, join the NRA, get all the information that you can, uh, ask questions, ask anybody on YouTube, ask questions. Don't don't feel like you're uh, that you're dumb because there's so much to learn. I don't know everything. Uh, then my next door neighbor don't doesn't know everything about gun laws and. Um, but don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to have someone show you uh, how to hold a gun or wh what what's the best bullet for hunting or self-defense or just go out and have fun or plinking uh, for cheap or if you want to reload. Um, so just, you know, just, just be aware. Just be very open about learning about everything. Um, it's just uh, the more you consume, the better you'll be and more you be aware. Because it doesn't matter what the most powerful bullet in the world is or what's the most deadly. The most deadly is, is, is what's inside your head and how you use common sense. Um, use common sense. And common sense goes a long way. And, you know, we, we don't want things happening. So, but anyway, we live in the United States and we have these to protect, go hunt, go sport, go shoot. Um, and uh, we enjoy. This is 460 style.